this is my sculpture, Minerva. This is uh, a maquette. It's a working model for a, uh, a large scale 11 foot sculpture. But the inspiration for it comes from a conversation I had with um, the, the museum in Bath. Um, they, they have a, a fragmented mask, which is uh, the, the remains of a, a Roman sculpture from a temple in Bath. Well, when, the, when, when the Romans invaded Britain, AD 43, I think, uh, they, they built a very big um, complex with uh, Roman baths and a temple. And the this, this central image in the temple was a large bronze sculpture of the goddess Minerva, which is the Roman version of the Greek um, goddess Athena. In the Roman version, she's a goddess of wisdom, not the goddess of war, hence the symbol of the owl. But when, the, when Bodicea and the Iceni drove the Romans out, they ceremonially decapitated the sculpture and buried the head, and that was their gods dominating the Roman gods. The, the rest of the sculpture was broken up, this bronze was a precious metal for weapons, but the head remained buried ceremonially to dominate the god, and there, there it remained for over a thousand years until it was discovered in a sewer uh, adjacent to the the Roman baths in Regency Britain about 1727 I think uh, and it was it was taken in as a, as a curio uh, into a private collection that where it remained for a couple of hundred years until it eventually found its way into the museum in Bath where it spent its life in a glass case and nobody was allowed to touch it it had a very unusual process as part of its uh, making called fire gilding which requires mercury, which is a dangerous process and a very unusual process for the time. I think there's only two, two examples found. So they were very, very precious about this mask, which is a little fragmented mask, a little bit over life size. So the original sculpture was probably seven, eight feet tall. So very imposing. But all that remains is a little fragmented mask. And eventually after a lot of persuasion, they let me handle it. And it was originally modeled directly in wax by the sculptor and then converted into bronze but within the mass you could see all the working you could see I could see the decisions he'd made why he made them hold it you could see where he changed his mind what he'd done I, I can interpret what I, what I would have done in the same say it, say it, was, it was a compression of time it was really really fascinating and a bit spooky really it's interesting and that then inspired me to create my own modern version of Minerva, uh, which this is a working maquette. And uh, we have a, a larger version in progress, but this, this is the version on which uh, we resolve all the design. Bear in mind, it's, it's meant to be looked up at, so it's been designed from, for, with a perspective in mind. And uh, I'll keep you informed as the project develops.